What's up guys, today we are doing top 5 tips when traveling to Switzerland. Tip number 1 is that an EU adapter, Europe, the two prong. This. So the two prong adapter for EU works, it is the skinnier two prong. So I was looking online and it says that you need the three prong. No, you don't. You can get away with the two prong EU adapter, just a normal EU adapter. And then you can plug in your devices into here. Just get one of these generic adapters and you will be fine. Tip number two is to budget and plan. So look for discounts where possible. Um, you know, so you can avoid, um, well, the main expenses are eating out, um, which like for a full course uh, meal can cost like between 50 to 150 francs, depending on which area you're in. Transport is expensive, especially using the train. And then next is the accommodation. It is a very expensive country to visit. Uh, just take in comparison, uh, just souvenir shop, fridge magnet costs about 10 Swiss francs. So that's about 11 euros for just a small uh, fridge magnet. Um, I'll show you what I bought. They're nice fridge magnets. Uh, they're not too bad, but yeah, about 10 francs for this Lutheran one. And I believe this was 13 Swiss francs. So it is very expensive. So make sure to budget and plan where possible. I think we budgeted, yeah, we had to pay 50% more, maybe even 60% more than uh, our original budget. So definitely, um have a re backup reserve cash okay tip number three the next one is to use an eu acceptable card um so on our travels we used um n26 the german bank and revolut which i think is uk based now um we used those so we didn't need any cash and we just paid using uh swiss francs uh, where possible and yeah that was really handy so having one of those just go cashless um you can pay it's very um actually one thing about accepting the card is going to the toilet um was it in one of the train stations s s b b s s b what's the name of the train station so the train station you had to pay about two swiss francs i believe to just use the toilet and there was one just uh urinal for men and then there's like a like normal you know seat toilets and showers as well in another one so i think there was price differences between both but you have to pay to use the toilet in most places in switzerland tip number four is to buy okay this is not one but swisscom and some other network providers there they make um data plan uh sims so the reason why i say this is because free wi-fi sucks um we were in uh, zurich and we were trying to access the free wi-fi um i think it's to a cafe or the shopping center itself and you have to go into swisscom and they ask you to pay so it's not actually free and there's no you think starbucks and places like that have uh, free Wi-Fi, but they don't. So definitely invest in this. Um, the other thing is um, Switzerland is outside of the EU zone. So my data plan, I had like 15 euros to use. That was just gone straight away because it's international uh, rates. Like every notification that I got just, you know, ate into my data so definitely invest in one of those swisscom uh, data plan sim cards tip number five is try and book airbnb the reason why is you can use their kitchen because food costs a lot of money so what we did is we went to this place coop um to do all our shopping so we'd cook our breakfast lunch and dinner and that saved us lots of money 
um, definitely a lifesaver and really helped cut down costs um, for most of the travel. I'd hate to think if we had to pay for, you know, outside dining every day, we would have been in serious trouble. So thank you, Coop. Um, side note about Coop is you have to pay for these plastic bags. You scan the barcode and you pay for them. So paper bags, um, those reusable kind of like plasticky um, carry bags. They're, are they recyclable? They're kind of cloth. You can get cloth ones as well. Um, and plastic, uh, these bags, you all have to pay for them. There's nothing that you don't pay for in Switzerland. You always have to pay for it. A bonus tip number six. For the Swiss railway, do not buy the travel pass. So... Um, was this a train ticket? No, this was not a train ticket. So just like um, 155 Swiss francs for the train ticket to go to Jungfrau Jok. Uh, so they are very expensive. Um, no, but these are just the train tickets. Uh, where was this to? To Brienzi. Brienzersi. So this is looking at one of the lakes. 60 francs per person to get there. Um, yeah, where else? We went to Zurich to Rumlang, that was 680 Swiss francs, and that's close by, uh, that's within Zurich. This one, I think, is a short journey Interlaken, um, to Grindelwald, 1120. These do add up. Uh, but they're still cheaper than this was 44 20 swiss francs lutheran to grindwald and i think this is from the airport yeah this is from the airport to zurich was 30 swiss francs and that's per person um and still much cheaper than the um travel pass i be believe the travel pass cost like 300 to 400 euros that travel pass only works if you stay there for a month or more we stayed there for a week and our travel expenses were still lower than travel pass do not forget for the travel pass you still have to pay um the half fare or whatever uh fare it's not the full fare it will be the travel pass fare and you have to prove that um the ticket people on the train are quite strict. If if you don't show it, you get an on the spot fine. So you have to check that. And just to wrap up, this is the Junge Frau um, pamphlet, which they give to you when you buy your ticket. Just give a quick look at this. This was quite enjoyable. Um, ears popped as you go up. I believe it is over three kilometers high and you can see there that's the top of europe so that's the jungfrau jok is the highest railway station in switzerland so the railway station actually goes up to there this is a viewpoint which you can see if you go down lower you're exposed to the snow this one um is covered with glass so you have to look through glass so there's the map of it and it is very cold uh, at the top here, so you need to wear long sleeve and some uh, cardigan sweaters, jumpers on the top. Ice Palace was nice, uh, very slippery. The Glacier Plateau, I don't think we were. Oh no, we did. It's with the flags. A lot of people that were there um, don't bother queuing because uh, the queue does not move. Just try get a photo with the people um, that are there already. Um, yeah, just try and do that. Iger Express, Grind Grindelwald Terminal, these are the places. Yes, the cable car is more expensive. So if you take the cable car up, it's actually faster as well. Uh, you don't get to see as much um, because it's faster. Uh, so we took the train up to Iger and then to the top of Jungfrau. We took the train to back from Jungfrau to Iger. And then Iger, we took the cable car to Grindelwald. Grindelwald Grund, I believe. Then Grund, Grindelwald Grund, you have to take a train to Grindelwald Terminal. 
they love to advertise this chocolate. Uh, the chocolate's okay. It is okay. I'm not a chocolate lover, so um, chocolate lovers might like it. Uh, Swiss Army Knife. A lot of advertising. Double O Seven. James Bond. And there we have it. That's just that booklet. All right. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, share, subscribe, join us on Discord. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Swiss television is weird. This has been on a loop for about five minutes. I think it's a potato in a spacesuit in space. Oh.